Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Scotty Chelsea. So today, y'all, I'm gonna be showing you how I put on my Amazon wig. It's real cute, silky, and bouncy. But I want to show y'all how I got it all like sleek and and flat and all that goodness so i'm gonna leave like details and stuff like that about this hair down in the description box but this hair is ukraine hair um this video is not sponsored at all i am giving like my complete honest review if you want to see that make sure you continue watching also don't forget to subscribe to my channel y'all we are almost to 500 subscribers i know right now we're at 200 but i'm shooting for 500 forget three and four we're shooting for five so make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you can see more and let's start the video so y'all this is how the hair looks once i have washed it and blow dried it now usually i would let my hair air dry but this time girl i ain't have time so i had to just hurry up and blow dry it this is 24 inches of brazilian hair um this is a 13 by 6 lace frontal wig it did come pre-plucked but i plucked it a little bit more i just didn't do too much with the plucking because you know the hair starts to like thin out fast when you do too much plucking on your lace so i left that to a minimum i did go ahead and bleach the knots and i customized it to my forehead off camera because i used this hair for my new york vlog video um and i just kind of was rushing for time so i didn't have time to film all of that but i'll show y'all the rest of my molding if you will um process of this wig so let's go uh-uh girl why y'all ain't telling me my lips was chat baby uh-uh so y'all i got this cute like barbie doll lip gloss i'm gonna let y'all know where it is from in my next video so make sure you subscribe so that you can see that but for now i'm gonna tone it down just a little bit i just need to grease them lips up girl because it was just nasty but anyways here we go um i am starting to measure the wig to my head just to make sure it is in the place that i want it to be when i start the molding process So once we know where we want the lace to lay down on our forehead, we're going to go ahead and flip it back and we're going to start getting ready to lay down our gel and all that stuff. Of course, we're going to be using a got to be glued ultra gel and um, this was at Walgreens for six bucks. I also got this blow dryer at Walgreens for 20 bucks. So very affordable. And it comes with this little thing in the front. I don't know what that's called, but y'all, I found this is really good for lace because it focuses on the spot that you need to like blow dry. So of course we're gonna go ahead and start with our got to be glued ultra gel, which I am completely running out of. Like, oh my god, like don't don't you ever have to squeeze it and all? <laughs> There's just too much, girl. I need to just buy another one. But, <sighs> all right. So, this is how much we're going to take. And I'm going to go ahead and lay that across my forehead exactly where the lace is going to lay. I'm putting a pretty even amount. Not too little, but not too thick at the same time. So, it's easy to dry um using my blow dryer and then going ahead and laying down the lace i'm not being very detailed in this video on how i lay the lace or the laying the lace process because i do have a very detailed video on that which just hit 1.5k views so you guys should definitely um go ahead and check that out after you leave this video i'll leave it linked down below for you also but let's just go ahead and finish watching the rest of this process
So all the lace is now laid and we're going to go ahead and get our part started. Of course, you guys can do whatever you want if you want a side part or middle part, but I am going to do a middle part today. Now, y'all, I did do this before. Like I said, I had washed it and I'm doing it over. So as you can see, I think that my hot comb girl messed up my hair girl and like broke off the hairs, which... I'm pretty sure if I would have put like some really good heat protecting spray or serum on my hair, I could have avoided that. But y'all definitely be aware of that can possibly happen when you're using a hot comb. It can break off the hairs. So yeah, just make sure you have like some type of heat serum or something just to protect your hair from being broken off like that. So y'all, with this hot comb, just know that this part takes a little bit of time. You will have to go over it multiple, multiple times to get it as flat as possible. And sometimes you can like even go in between the hairs and do it. But just know it is, it does take a little bit of a time. So now we're moving on to our baby hairs. Y'all already know if you have watched my previous hair videos that your girl is not a professional baby hair maker, okay? But I have been getting better. I've been practicing and all of that. So um, let's just see how I do today. So sis, if you are like me, make sure that you have like this little double-sided brush comb duo set thing. And when you are doing your baby hairs, pump a little bit of your mousse onto the brush, just like a pea size of mousse. And make sure that you're not getting the foam on the mousse on the actual lace, but just on the hairs. And this is going to make sure that the lace frontal doesn't start lifting because y'all know it got to be glued gel once it starts getting wet and it don't matter if it's mousse or water it will start to like lift so like i say if you are like me and you're not a baby hair professional make sure that you are only getting your mousse on the baby hairs rather than the lace and this will allow you to take your time to do your baby hairs and you won't have to like keep worrying about the lace lifting and stuff like that. So once you're done, you want to have something that you can tie around um, your baby hairs just so that they, they can really like melt and set into place. I just have like a hairband that I put on um while i do the rest of my hair so i'm going back with my hot comb once again like i told y'all you will have to do it multiple times um just to make sure that everything is combed out and flat and like looks really nice so this is how the hair looks once I have went through and flat ironed it all. It is really bouncy and like silky like y'all. I just, oh my god, I love this hair so much. Um, now I have taken off of my hairband and that's how my baby hairs look so far. Um, I don't know what this was in the front, but I just took a little bit of eyebrow scissors and like fix the little part in the front of that lace because y'all like that's the first thing people see when they see you so you want it to look really nice and like natural um but like i said this is the hair it looks really nice um and this is basically the finished look of this hair in this video y'all 
Um, I am really in love with this hair. The only thing I have to say about this hair is that it does shed a lot. So just be careful about that when you buy this hair. But other than that, like, look at it, y'all. It's so nice, sleek, and silky, and I'm pretty sure you will love all it. All right, y'all, so that is all for this video today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. I think Amazon wigs is about to be my new thing or whatever. Make sure to give it a big old fat thumbs up if you like it. Make sure that you like it. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Scotty Chelsea. And then also make sure you guys leave a comment down below on if you will buy this wig or if you like this video or anything like that. Show me some love in the comment section. And then also I know you're about to click out this video. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button on your way out. We are almost at 500 subscribers, which I know that we're, all, we're only at two right now. But, you know, you got to shoot for the stars, people. So make sure that you hit that subscribe button so that we can get on the road to 500 subscribers. And I will see y'all in the next video.